For thousands of years, the Waroni people have lived in one of the most biodiverse places on Earth, the rainforest in the upper headwaters of the Amazon River. The jungle and the green Amazon gives us life and gives life to the planet. We coexist with animals, with fish, with birds. We live spiritually, connected with nature. In 2018, the Ecuadorian government announced plans to auction off 16 oil concessions, covering over 7 million acres of indigenous land that included Waroni ancestral territory. I've seen the damage the oil companies do. They bring death and sickness and leave oil spills and pollution. So we said enough is enough. They cannot come here and destroy our territory. Nemonte Nenkimo is the co-founder of the Sebo Alliance, a coalition of indigenous people working to protect ancestral territory, culture, and the rainforest. If we let the oil companies in, they will kill us. They will end our way of life as indigenous people, and they will destroy the planet. Nemonte began meeting with elders and organizing Waroni communities. She knew her people needed to be unified to fight the government and the powerful oil industry. One of her first efforts was to work with communities to create a detailed map of more than 500,000 acres of Waroni territory. The government's map only shows oil wells. It doesn't show where there are important medicinal plants or sacred places. Our wise elders are our GPS. As elders, we speak, and Nemonte listens to us. Her work is based on thousands of years of traditional knowledge. Nemonte also helped develop media strategies to spread her people's message. Nemonte said, we're going to need to harness the entire world's attention to support our fight against one of the most destructive industries in the history of the planet. So they created a digital campaign. Over 378,000 people from around the world signed a petition in support of the Warani. All of these efforts bolstered a lawsuit that Nemonte and four other plaintiffs filed, charging the government with violating their constitutional right to free, prior, and informed consent. When the judge tried to rush the hearing, a group of women shut down the court with song. We sang with courage, saying we are not going to allow the government to continue to violate our rights. Nemonte and the Waroni continued to pressure the government by taking to the streets. Finally, in July of 2019, in a landmark ruling, the court indefinitely suspended the auction of indigenous land to oil companies, protecting half a million acres of Waroni territory. We have demonstrated to the government that what happens to our territory is our decision. Our house is not for sale. Namonte's victory has set a legal precedent for indigenous rights at Ecuador and across the Amazon. She is now working with other tribes whose land is at risk. This victory is not just ours. It is for all indigenous peoples. Now we ask the world to help us keep the forest healthy for our children and for future generations. For outstanding environmental achievement for South and Central America, the 2020 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Nemonte Nenquimo. Nemon Pare, Ecuador.